Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, I'm going to now uh, discuss about the Cartesian coordinate robot, which is a bit different uh, from the previous solution. Here we are going to use a different base frame of reference and we see how the solution is different from the previous one. So let us jump into the problem. Okay. As you can see in the previous problem, um, we used the base here, but now we have brought our base towards the down. So our new base frame is here. So this is our x-axis, this is z, same as our first join. And if you use the right hand rule, this is your y-axis positive because your thumb is pointing to x your index is pointing to y and the middle finger is pointing towards the uh, z positive which is going into the screen and this uh, distance between z0 to z1 we have defined it as a1 and the remaining uh, are the same d1 d2 d3 so and so forth and um, I have explained all this uh, notation, all this uh, orientation in the previous video. So please refer to the previous video as well. So this is our table to find the DH parameters and this is the transformation matrix for different joints. So basically this uh, when you want to solve the dh table this is the dh table so we are having another extra 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 so we have extra row for because we have brought down this previous frame from here to this base and as you can see only difference is in the first row the remaining are same as the previous example uh, which I have explained individually so this in this solution I'm going to explain only uh, the first row so if you can see a 1 supposed to be z0 to z1 along x1 so a1 is basically z0 to z1 along x1 and because x1 in this direction is positive that's why a1 is positive alpha i is alpha 1 is basically z0 to z1 along about the axis x1 there is no change from z0 to z1 about the axis x1 hence it is 0 di is basically dr in this case d1 is basically x0 to x1 along the axis z0 x0 to x1 there is no shift along z0 hence di is 0 theta 1 is basically x0 to x1 x0 to x1 about z0 there is no change because both are in the same direction hence theta I, theta 1 is 0 the remaining are same as before so you can refer to the previous example video as well so in this case we will be having four transformation matrix instead of three so three uh, will remain the same which means a2 a3 and n4 only a1 will be changed so our a1 if you put the values here we will be getting this matrix and you can just check it out uh, this one cos theta is basically zero cos zero is one here sine zero is zero sine zero is zero and a1 cos zero so that is a1 the remaining uh, will follow this formula sine zero is zero uh, cos theta cos zero both are zero here and this one sine z alpha is zero so it's zero one and this one sine zero is zero so zero one zero zero so this is basically a unity matrix with uh, a translation component a1 in x direction and the remaining other three matrix are same as before which is uh, for two to three one to two 
and 2 to 3 and 3 to 4. And if you multiply all these um, matrix, then you will end up with the result. So only difference here is basically in x0 direction, uh, this direction, which is a1 minus a3, a d3, because a1 is going up, d3 is going down. So we have to multi get this a1 minus d3 to find this location, the differential location, which is basically the x. On the other hand, y is in this direction positive and this direction positive. So y is basically d2 and z is d1 uh, going in is positive and this one is going in as well so this is uh, z and these two solutions are same as before only dif differences in the uh, x direction so i think you have understood the difference between this solution and the previous one and hope you enjoyed this video as well Hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.